Hello inventors, in this video I am going to show you how we can create invoice generator app using MIT App Inventor. So if you want to see the demo of that app, so I will give you the link in the description. I already have uploaded that video. So first we will click on a start new project and my project name is invoice app and then ok. We will design our invoice. So first I am going to use here one layout and that one is go to the layout and that one is vertical scroll arrangement this one and just make this height and width is fill parent like this so that's our vertical scroll arrangement now we need to use here one more layout that is horizontal arrangement simple and make this horizontal arrangement with this fill parent and now we need to use here two more layouts that one is vertical arrangement one and then vertical arrangement two and click on horizontal arrangement and make this horizontal align should be in the center and click on that vertical arrangement and make this with this as around at least 40 percent and make this also 40 percent like this now we can use your one label to make some difference between both so i will use your one label like this between both and make this remove that text form label and make this with this at least 20% to complete this 100%. Now we need to use here one two text box. Okay, so in the first text box we will use an invoice. In the another text box we will use a date. And now click on drag and drop that image. We will set here our logo, and we will use here click on the media and see the image picker. So we will use your image picker to set logo like this. So you can change that name to set logo like this. Click on text box and change that hint text to like uh, nothing and just click on text and just here put voice number like this. And you can just say like this and uh, here you just put the text is date is like here like this. Now we need to use another another horizontal arrangement so just collapse this and use another horizontal arrangement like this and make this also with this fill parent now we need to use here two text box click on user interface and you will see here text box one and in the right side you will find here the option of multi line so check that box and just remove the hint text and put the text is from and ok and make sure that is the multi line so what i will do i will use that text box height uh, is something like in a pixel is 100 pixel or 50 pixel okay like this and just copy and paste that again and just make this from to 2 like this now we need to use one more uh, layout click on layout and just say horizontal arrangement and here we need to use the one button to add item and the price so just drag and drop one button here and set that button is like add item you can design that button like this now make this one in a center so we make all this thing in a center like this so whenever you click on that button so we will add dynamically we will add here two text box okay now we need to use here one more uh, horizontal arrangement click on layout and just say horizontal arrangement one and make this with this fill parent and use your one label click on that label here like this and change that label to tax and the tax is something 20 and uh, yeah and just copy paste that whole uh, sorry delete this whole horizontal arrangement just copy and paste and just change that another text value this one to the total price total price like this now click on text and copy that text value here and remove that value and just say 10 you can define your text so i have defined that 10 percent and i just use your 10 percent sign and the total price so i will use one more label and define the price is zero like this now i need some space between this so i'm going to use here two labels to make some space so i will remove the text from here and what i will make that with is around at least 60 percent like this and then this one is also 60 percent with this 60 percent like this 
cool so that's the total price and that's the tax now we have completed our design but two things we needed here first we need to generate the bill we need a one button that generate our bill so click on that button and drag and drop it here and we need one more button to save that whole invoice in a pdf format so in the first button we will design like generate pdf or generate bill sorry and change that background color me size like this and in the another button you can define and just say the save pdf now click on that uh, virtual arrangement and make this one in a horizontal should be center like this so finally we have completed our design part now we need here two extension the one extension that can generate elements dynamically and the another that can see that whole vertical arrangement to as a pdf so now just open new tab you have created that extension so we are going to use that extension here so go scroll down and you will see the aix file so download that aix file you have to log in into that code builder platform before downloading this extension click on aix file to download this now we need to use here one more extension that can convert vertical arrangement or uh, any layout to the pdf layout to pdf app inventor create pdf file extension layout to pdf i will give you that extension link also in the description that extension is created by this developer so we are going to use here this extension and we need to just download the ax file this extension was updated in post 32 okay open this and you will see here the ax file you can download the extension from here so download that click on that file and we need to go to here and just click on ax file to download this now we need to upload both extension in our app left side you find extension click on import extension upload this click on import drag and drop that extension and import this now drag and drop both extension here like this so we have completed the design part now we need to do only two things that first thing is we need to generate dynamic component we need to generate two text box here okay so in the first text box we will put the item name and in the second text box we will put the price in the second uh you can see the extension we will use your pdf so whenever someone click on the pdf save pdf so we have to generate the pdf file and we have to save that pdf file in our folder in our file manager so this thing this block coding we will do tomorrow in the next video if you have any doubt till now so just comment on the video i'll try my best to solve your problems thank you so much for watching this video please subscribe my channel like this video and share this video have a nice day be safe bye bye